I'm a hero, huh? Oh? <laughs> what? No what? way! You. Oh, <laughs> I love teaching like the communication and behavior aspects. That's like my favorite part of my job and just seeing the growth of like language and um, just students being able to advocate for themselves and communicate with others is just super fulfilling. So what inspired me to teach, um, I'm in my 12th year teaching now. When I started, I'm a viola player. I wanted to um, be a viola performance major. And um, after um, a few volunteer things working with kids, I just decided that's what I love to do. I had uh, some, some really specific male role models in education. It was Mr. Bledsoe and Mr. Wilson. Um, and then, so I, I think we need more men in education, particularly in elementary. Um, and when I had that, I was really lucky. So that's why I do it. And it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of fun. So when I um, was in college, I did not think I wanted to be a teacher. I thought I wanted to be a vet. Um, and then once I started working with certain populations of kids, I realized that is what I wanted to do. Um, and I think it's just rewarding to see the growth over a period of time, especially with behavior and communication. Um, I also think working with the younger kids in this age group is really rewarding um, because parents are still kind of figuring out the track with which their student is going on. Um, and I think seeing that growth and helping them through that, I think is really um, inspirational to me. Mm -hmm. Something that makes me happy. I am a runner. I love running. Running makes me happy. <laughs> I am a musical theater nerd. I was Belle and Beauty and the Beast in high school and I will never let people forget it. So I love food. I love pizza. I had Chipotle last night. It's the best thing I've ever tasted. So I love food. It makes me very happy. Um, I always try to stay positive. Um, even when things are difficult at home, I have four kids and they're all under the age of six. So it's chaos all the time. But um, so I just, their positivity and same thing, students at school, their positivity really helps keep me positive. Something that makes me happy is seeing the progress in my students. I think um, seeing them over time, since typically we have our students for more than one year, um, I think seeing them start at a young age um, in our classes and then seeing the growth that they make over a period of time. I stay because I am a kid at heart. Like the stuff that they find funny, the stuff that they enjoy, I actually enjoy. I can talk about Star Wars, Harry Potter. They want to roll on the carpet. I also sort of want to roll on the carpet and do cartwheels and run around and I have a lot of little kid energy. So I find it just matches well and that's why I keep doing it. I think what keeps us going is what probably brought us into this as well. I think just the little wins that we get every day with our students and um, seeing over time their growth I think is something that inspires me every day to keep working with them. Mm -hmm. um, I, at the end of the day it's like I love music and I absolutely love kids and if that means coming before school and having choir club or doing run club or um, finding different creative ways to, to work with them um, I just I love it all. I always try to focus on like the little funny moments. I have some hilarious kids who make me laugh a lot. And so just like setting aside that time during the day to like have fun with them and like recenter myself um, just kind of reminds me of like the good that we're able to do. I really am doing my dream job and this is absolutely the most fun I could ever have. 